Hello everyone and welcome to the course Data Science with Python. So what will you learn in this course? We'll learn cleaning the data, computing aggregate statistics, computing aggregate statistics on matching rows, sorting data, correlation, regression, regression without intercept, then basic pivot tables, visualizing data, graph a data set, box plot, line plot, scatter plot, and bar plot. There are multiple quizzes, uh, each presented at the end of the lecture. So it, you can check your skills. So what is data science? We have a definition of data science. Uh, data science is a field of study that develops scientific and systematic methods to record, process, and analyze data to withdraw significant and useful information that can be both structured and unstructured. So there are two types of uh, data, which is unstructured data. First one is which mean, which is that data that is generated by mobile devices and websites. And the other one is structured data, which is an organized data, which is mostly generated by users. Example, emails, chats, telephone calls, etc. So what is the need for data science? Contemporary, the data that is being produced is mostly unstructured, as there are multiple sources of its generation, such as multimedia files, logs, documents, etc. And data science provides aid in turning raw data into consequential one. So here's a small flowchart of six steps involved in data science. First one is discovery then data preparation, then model planning, then again model planning, it goes on and on until we find a feasible solution for that. Then operationalize, then communicate results with use of different softwares. It can be Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, and it depends. And it's mostly the last step to prepare uh, any document for storytelling. So what is the importance of data science? I've narrowed down one, two, three, four, and five crucial points. So I'll go with the first one, decision-making. Analyzing the data in a proper way to solve the problems arising in the business by providing healthy opportunities and unleashing ideas to remove the threats and creating issues for the business. The next point, improvement improving the product. So by tracking the patterns of the consumer's purchases and knowing about the likes and dislikes, the managers will know what improvisations are required, what kind of product is outdated, and what basically is trend prevailing. The third point is predicting trends, which also includes predictive analysis. So we to, to, to be able to read the patterns and predict the future tendency of people's wants is going to be lucrative in every way, which way possible. Number fourth point is better marketing. Data science can make it easier by making smarter decisions for them and run a campaign for them for the specific purpose. The last but not the least holds the future. Industries are becoming data-driven and they need data scientists to process and analyze the data for them and make smarter decisions by predicting information. So here's a small statistic of data science. Its expected growth from 2019 to 2024 is about 30%. And the value of data analytics or data science in the market is around $170 billion, which is too much as compared to other emerging fields in technology. So Glassdoor.com says that the median salary for a data scientist is $165,000. Although it varies from countries to countries and even if the, this figure is taken from United States, so it varies from even states to states. But the median salary you may find around different websites is this one. 
So before going, uh, I have some couple of tips I want to give. Do not cram the code. Understand the concepts behind the codes. Do not skip the theory if I've mentioned any and take breaks because mental exhaustion is the number one point people leave programming. So enjoy learning and thank you for your time. Have a good day and I see you inside the course. Thank you.